Justin. And we have a 10-year-old son Zeb who's off playing somewhere. It's been about, what, two months now? <laughs> yeah, two months. Two months. I think tomorrow. Uh, we, we were living in Las Vegas and we didn't want to live there anymore. Um, he, we knew he was facing a layoff within a couple of months. So we basically, we knew we were going to lose the house that we were in because of the economy. Um, and the way things were going in Vegas, so we basically just took the little bit of savings we had and got the RV, and our original goal was pretty much to travel until we found a new place that we wanted to live. Um, now that we're out here though, we're kind of liking it, so I don't know if we're going to be looking as hard as you know we first planned to. If you, would, if you would ask us if we'd be on the road six, eight months ago, yeah. we'd are you crazy? Are you nuts? How yeah. Would, you know, would, I would never have never dreamed thought. about it. In fact, a year ago, he mentioned to me, man, we should just like get in an RV and like travel for a while. And I'm like, whatever, you can't <laughs> do that. And then like probably six months later, yeah. we were getting an RV and planning our escape. Handyman stuff. Uh, like while we were here, I did uh, flooring on somebody's rig and uh, a little generator work, um, roof repair, stuff like that. Just typical handyman stuff. I mean, that's what I've been good at, so. Yeah, he was in construction before. Um, I was a massage therapist before, so I can work a little bit depending on where we are and, and the legalities of it. Um, and then I just do miscellaneous stuff. Like while we were here, I helped somebody organize their RV. Um, you know, little things like that. I also have a blog that I can make a small income from, and there's some other things that we're doing online that we're hoping will get us a bigger income in the mm -hmm. future. Um, I've been on the road for two and a half years, almost, almost three years. Almost three years now. Um, and when we first initially were on the road, we only planned to do it for a year. We had a small Winnebago that was 22 foot. And about nine, ten months into it, we decided that we wanted to do it a lot longer because we enjoyed it so much. So we sold that, settled down for probably a couple months, and about six months. Sold that and found a new rig. And now we have a fifth wheel, a 30, it's like 36 six. foot. Uh, Thor Jazz, and we have a 01 Ford F350, which is also converted to waste veggie oil, just like our Winnebago was. Um, I missed anything else? Solar panels, and um, Zeb has his own room this time. Um, it came with a bunk. We were looking for an RV with his own room because he's getting to that age where he does like his privacy. Um, so we found that, and we enjoy the space. A lot more having the slides makes a big difference. Tell you what, going from 22 foot to 36 foot is like a mansion inside. Yeah, we've definitely all transformed in ways that we, we really couldn't fully see. And I feel like looking back to where we were three years ago and looking at where we are now, I'm such a different person. Yeah. Um, there was so much more fear in my life before, and being on the road, it's not that being on the road made me brave, but being on the road gave me no choice but to examine the places that I held fear. We were, we're still running veggie oil, waste veggie oil. Um, sometimes it's difficult to find it uh, than other times. I still think it's very sustainable to use it, um, especially traveling long distances and stuff like that. It saves so much money on gas and diesel. And he says it's difficult to find, but but we've never had to run on diesel more than maybe, what, twice in three years? Yeah. It's difficult to find in the large quantities that he wants to find it, but he searches so often that we've never actually run out of it. It's just sometimes we don't find it as soon as we would have liked to, so we get down to the bare minimum, but it's it's been 
I can't imagine trying to travel without the waste veg yeah, oil. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to travel to the extent that we do. No, I mean, the, the gas prices being what they are for diesel, over $4 a gallon, every time he fills up on a diesel load, it's or a veggie load, how yeah, much is it? It's $400, I have a 100 gallon tank that I fill up. And I love it because it's better for the environment than running diesel or gas. And it smells good. And it smells good <laughs> too. We make people hungry when we drive by. I mean, at times it's a little bit more upkeep, you know. Um, there's things that you have to change out and clean and, and stuff that you wouldn't. Yes, yeah, it's, it's messy. It's definitely something that you don't uh, plan on doing unless you like getting dirty, you know. Yeah. Um, when we first went on the road, we were um, planning on just doing odd jobs because we weren't going to be staying on the road very long. We didn't really have a long-term plan. We kind of just um, trusted the leap that we were taking. And it's kind of interesting because being on the road has completely changed everything that we do, especially what we do for a living. Um, the last yes. interview, probably about two weeks after that last interview, I sort of fell into life coaching because a couple people had requested it, so I started putting it out there more. Um, now I've been coaching for over two years, two and a half years, and absolutely love it. It's completely changed my life and my perspective of life. Um, so mainly the work that, that I do is through the theorganicsister.com and life coaching and putting out products that support women and overcoming barriers and creating their own version of an unconventional life, whether that's traveling like us, most of the time it's not, it's just following their passions and, and maybe healing relationships. One day Zeb asked me how to juggle, we YouTubed it, hour later he's playing video games, three hours later here I'm juggling and I just kind of stuck with it and fell in love with it and I'm now working on juggling six, seven balls. Uh, I just love it. I use it for meditation, um, exercise, everything. I do. Uh, it's his happy place. Yeah, I do uh, workshops now for different, you know, outings. Um, what else do I do? I sell juggling balls, make and sell juggling balls on my website. He's um, getting into street performing. Street performing. I'm working on. I've done it uh, a couple times down in Florida, and uh, when I get back down in Florida this winter, hopefully I'll hit it up again. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, check out my website, oddballjuggling.com. Um, we are still unschooling Zeb on the road. Um, we actually call it Google School because we spend more time Googling things than anything else. Yeah. Um, it's, it's been interesting because shortly after we went on the road, you know, he kind of went into this new phase of growth where he was in his tween years and and even now at 13 he likes to be home a lot yep. he, he doesn't do Which as much yeah he doesn't do as much exploring with us as we would have hoped he would um, but he's really happy with that right now and and we know that it's a normal phase um, I think it's actually a little bit easier for us to be okay with it because we do travel so he does get a little more out there than he might if we were at home um, or in a, a sticks and bricks home. Um, he right now is is struggling with it. We've been traveling for the last eight months with friends and having a caravan was really awesome for him. He's at the stage now where he wants he wants his people, he wants his community and his friends and, and that's been hard on the road not because we can't meet people, but because he takes a little bit longer to warm up to people, so it's been challenging for him to warm up to people, and then as soon as he gets comfortable, we're leaving, yeah. and, and that's yeah. that's really hard for him. After traveling for close to three years, we've actually, just in the past couple of weeks, been having conversations between the three of us, us two and our son, and we're all feeling ready to settle down. Our original intent was to find a community that we wanted to live in within a year, and it just became obvious to us that we weren't going to find that within a year. Within a year. And it's been three years, and we still, we still uh, haven't, haven't found, found that it. spot. Um, but uh, we have a couple spots that I think we're going to stay a little bit more long term, yeah, and, and check them out a little bit more during the seasons, different we're seasons. In, uh, we're in kind of upstate New York now staying with some friends and, and we're really liking this area so we might come back in the springtime we're about ready to leave because it's getting too cold and we're not prepared for the cold but 
Um, it's just Florida been, bound. it's, it was, you know, we decided to keep traveling for the adventure of it, not necessarily because we couldn't find a place to stay yet. And now we're just getting to the place where we're, we're ready to settle down. We're ready to put down roots and feel a little more grounded and have more of a rhythm. Um, we're just tired, mostly. We're tired of, of the travel, of packing up, of finding places. It's a lot of upheaval. I don't want it to sound negative, but after a while you just get to a place where you're ready for some, some balance and some... I'm ready for some stillness and just feeling settled and relaxed. It seems like once we got off, got on the road, we kind of pushed through this barrier that was holding us back from exploring life, not just exploring the country. Yeah. And, you know, we just, we took everything that ever sort of piqued our interest and we just, we explore more. We're more curious, we're more adventurous. Um, not always, we're still homebodies, but, you know, we have our home with us all the time, so it's easier to, to travel and explore that way. And it's just been, our, our perspective on life and our approach to life has radically changed because, because we started traveling, you know. Like the rising of the sun, straight up, flying through the troubles left before me. Can't you